What's up everybody? Hope you're all having a great day and I hope you're all finding a way to get some money or better yourself in a way. But today I have probably one of the most anticipated videos which is a Q&A. All the questions you guys have and want me to answer whether it be on Instagram or any questions you have in general. I post a Q&A on my Instagram for you guys to send them in. I have about 20 plus questions so let's go ahead and answer them and see if I can help you guys out with anything you may need. All right, so for the first question I have is from Luis4 and he asked me, how do you wash a vehicle that has been full of dirt and grime for a long time? So the personally, my way of doing it is depending on the condition, I like to obviously pre-soak the vehicle first. So do your pre-rinse after that, foam it up with a bit of a stronger soap than usual, something that's going to strip the dirt and the grime. So for me, I use Coach Kemi, Pol or Coach Kemi Green Star. That's the best that works for me. I put about one to two ounces of soap as well as one to two ounces of regular soap. Mix that together, let it sit for a couple minutes, rinse it off. Repeat that process as many times as needed, one to two times, and then go ahead, follow up with your final foam and hand wash. That's how I go about it. Third question I have is from F underscore Ario 20. He says, are you planning to have a partner? Yes. Now, a partner to help me work, not necessarily a business partner. I've been doing this by myself uh, business-wise, and I'd like to keep it like that. But I do have a helper. Um, I have Michael. He runs with me whenever I need him to help me out on details, and he's doing very well. So at the moment, I do have a partner to answer your question. Yes. And another question that I got is going to be from Hub City Details. He says, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, that's a great question. That's one that you have to really think about. Personally, I hope to be in a shop within five years. Uh, I want to have at least two to three vans all wrapped with my logo, with my building in the back. I have a vision for it already, gray, um, large windows to be able to kind of see the cars we're working on, as well as uh, the LED lights in the front with the logo and uh, all three vans parked in front, wrapped tan gray. So I have a couple plans. I for sure want to be uh, Taking the number one spot probably on YouTube for mobile detailing. I for sure want my business to be one of the best and most popular well-known businesses around, not just for quality, but customer service. So in five years, I see myself being a lot bigger than I am now and uh, hoping to be one of the best. The next question I have is from Rajor, J-U-H-R, not too sure. Uh, he says, what platforms do you use to advertise your business? So this is one of the most popular ones. Um, Everyone asks if I do SEO or any Facebook ads, no. I simply only do Instagram ads, so I'll post a video or a picture, uh, promote that through there. I do TikTok, that has been something that has been working for me recently, and now I'm doing YouTube. So YouTube has probably been one of the most recent ones that has also done the most for me. It has definitely grew my uh, Instagram as well as my business with clients and just everything all around. So. Really, it's just YouTube, Instagram, and word of mouth. That has to be probably the big ones. Uh, the next one is from Rick's uh, SZ. He asked, how long should a carpet extraction take? So that really varies on obviously how much carpet you're doing uh, and how bad the carpet is. But for seats and the flooring, I say it takes me, if I'm doing just that, anywhere from, I say probably about like an hour or so, hour and a half. Um, it shouldn't take, I say, no more than two hours, depending really how bad it is. Obviously, if the condition's worse, you will need to spend more time, do a couple more passes, but uh, ultimately my carpet extractions on just seats and a bit of the floor takes me about an hour to hour and a half, I'd say. Um, the next question is from JJ underscore Zoe also. He asked, what products do you use for painted glossy wheels? Um, personally, I don't usually put like a finish on the wheel. Uh, I will clean them up with just a towel if there's any spots left. But if I am going to use something, it would most likely be a Coach Kemi Quick Finish. That is a good all around quick finish spray for wheels, plastics, paint, glass. So I would uh, personally use that and I think you'd get very good results with that. It's perfect for the sun to not leave streaks if you use it properly. So a couple people asked this, but this is from Slick Detail 702. So anyone else that asked this, this will kind of answer it for you. He says, what equipment do I use? So personally, um, that's gonna be in my detail setup video. So if you want, check that out. But just to give you a little rundown, I have a Honda GX200 pressure washer with a comment, with a comment pump attached to it to pull the water from the tank. I have a Predator 3500 generator and uh, a rigid five gallon vacuum, a Aqua Pro Vac steamer, and a rigid air compressor, as well as a Adams blower. So that's all the equipment that I use. Products is a bit different, 
but you'll see more of that in my detail set of video that should be coming out um, pretty soon. The next question is from MKV Mode. He said, can you demonstrate your packages like the wash and seal things that you do? I've done that. Um, if you want, check out my YouTube channel. That shows you uh, already about two videos of how I do my clay and seal packages, as well as there will be more videos on my interior details, ceramic coatings, things like that coming in the future. So stay tuned for those. Uh, Jackboy underscore SS, he asked, what's the best way to get your name out there? The best way is to make yourself seen. So a lot of people, um, don't post a lot on Instagram because they feel like you don't have enough followers, but that's where the problem is No matter if they like your picture or not somebody's seen it and that's reminding them Hey, you know what? Maybe I need to get my car done or if someone needs their car done and they see your video Oh, you know what? I saw this detailer earlier today posting you should check him out So the best thing is word of mouth do a good job put quality over quantity always Don't worry about how many cars you're doing worry about getting the job done getting it done, right? Um, as long as you do everything that you're supposed to do business-wise and customer service-wise, they will refer you to others. I can promise you that. That's how I've gotten most of my business, as well as just promoting yourself. Just constantly post, make sure you're always being seen, and don't ever take a break. Just constantly be pushing out there. Essay away <laughs> asked, how'd you put your van together? Um, personally, I had already got this set up from H2O as far as the wood and everything. So all I did was transfer it from the old um, expedition I was in, throw it in there. The frames, just same thing, threw them in there. They're not bolted down or anything. The water tank gets held down by its own weight from the water. When it's filled, it's a little bit over a thousand pounds, so that's more than enough. And this frame fits perfectly to where it's just stuck in there, so it shouldn't have any issues, at least on my end. I haven't for the almost a year that I've been running it. Uh, what Fronty Yard Detail asked, what do you do during the winter time, also known as rainy days? So I'm over here in LA, Southern California. We don't get too much rain, very little if we do. Uh, personally, when it does rain, I, if I have any cars, I just text the, client, check, uh, text the clients, let them know that, you know, it's raining, we need to reschedule. They're always usually okay with it, set up a time, get it done, but uh, take the time to work on your business or work on yourself, whether it be mentally, physically, or you know promoting yourself you know find new packages to throw into your business find new uh, add-ons whether it be you know wrapping cars or offering um, anything new that you don't already offer on a rainy day when you have a day off it shouldn't be a day off it's just a day off from working but you're still working mentally and getting your business and your mind right so that's what i do so the next question is going to be from i'm underscore no limit 19 and the question is, when you first started off, how long did it usually take you to wash a car interior and exterior? Very great question. Um, personally, I want to say before I was even detailing, I was already doing my own car. Uh, that did take me, I didn't really time it, but for sure at least more than an hour. Now, if it's a maintenance client, I can be done within 45 minutes to hour and a half, depending on the size of the vehicle and obviously the condition. But for the most part, I'd say starting off, it took me maybe an hour and a half, two hours just to do a regular car. Um, whether it was clean, dirty, just trying to learn about the car more so, like what I need to clean, what I can miss, where I can improve at. So I would say it took me about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, the next question is also from I'm No Limit 19, and it's what detailing products works best, work best for you? Uh, personally, I use PS, so that's going to be my PS Brake Buster, my iron remover. Uh, my leather conditioner, things like that, as well as Coach Kemi. Coach Kemi has been one of the newest products I've implemented into my business and has been one of the best uh, performing ones. So I definitely use a lot of them. There's two bottles up here and there's a couple more uh, that you don't see. So Coach Kemi, Shine Supply, PNS, and uh, Car Pro. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I want to say just about those brands are where I kind of stay with. I'm going to say George.6, but it has an X. Asked, how did you gain your detailing wisdom? Uh, honestly, I want to say part of it was from working in the body shop detailing there. They taught me a couple things, but really they didn't teach me what I learned how to do here. A lot of it was from YouTube. Uh, I would always had a thing for detailing, so I'd go home, watch YouTube videos. Even when I'm detailing, if I go home, I'm eating on a break, I'm watching detailing videos. I'm just constantly trying to learn and improve. So I'm watching product videos, uh, how to do this, how to do that, 
how to properly get that done. So it's constantly just learning and not thinking you already have learned it all because there's always somebody that's gonna know more than you or somebody that can teach you something. The biggest thing I did too was I reached out to a detailer who I felt, you know, I was doing, a, well he was doing way better than me, but I felt he could help me out in my business. Reached out to him whenever he was doing ceramic coatings or paint corrections, offered to help him. I didn't ask for no money, didn't ask for anything. I just liked paint correcting. I liked holding the polisher, so it was fine for me to do that just to gain the knowledge. The Valley Detailing said, how do you keep up with booking? Do you use an app or write it down? So I use Square Appointments app. Recently, that's been my most, uh, you know, easiest way to keep track of clients. It allows you to put the client's information from their name, address, credit card information if you want to charge a card. So a lot of detailers that don't accept card payments, they will send you out a free card reader for you to plug into your um, lightning adapter and you can start accepting card payments through there or you could even do it through the app. There is a small fee, but personally I found that has been easier. I've tried to write them down, but sometimes the amount of inquiries that come in is just too many for you to kind of keep up with. So the app definitely helps. It keeps track of how much money you're making per week. And um, yeah, I'd say Square Appointments is the way to go. Luis19710 said, how do we get a quote from you? So it's pretty simple. Um, in my Instagram, there's either a DM button, you can DM me and get a quote through there. Or there's also a contact button you can click that will directly, directly send a message to my number. So you can go ahead and hit either of those, reach out to me and we can go ahead and get talking about setting you up for an appointment. Gail408 asked, how do you learn more about quality products? Just like the other question, it's all about watching videos. Um, ask questions, whether you're at your local detail shop, ask them, you know what, hey, I've seen this product or it looks interesting to me. What does it do? How does it work? And how should I use it? So ask questions, watch some YouTube videos. If you see something in my video that you see me using, watch some videos yourself and see how you like it. The best way is to really try it out. Try it out for yourself. Um, a lot of the more quality brands, you gotta kinda, I would say would be like CarPro, Coach Kemi, um, Shine Supply, p &S is good. There's a lot of other ones, just personally, I wouldn't do the chemical guys. And G underscore Luis said, how much do you make a day? Well, that varies based on how many cars I do as well as the packages, but I'd say a minimum seems to be about like 250 per day um, for like a low end day. That's roughly about like four cars doing just simple ex express details or maintenance details. But um, I'd say roughly 250, anywhere of some days even making close to $1,000. 209 Doe says, you ever detail Harleys? Yes, so I do detail bikes, um, depending on what you wanna get done. I ceramic coat bikes. There's videos on my Instagram of regular bike cleans all the way up to ceramic coatings and polishing. So check those out. MHS. 241988 said, what do you pay for DI water where you're at and have you ever considered renting DI bottles from Coligan? I don't know about Coligan. Um, I have considered renting a tank out, but the tank was, I think, about 50, 60, I'm not 100% sure, but it was only gonna give me about 600 gallons depending on the water where you're at. And for that price, it's almost the same as me filling up the tank. Uh, depending where I'm at, it costs anywhere from 10 cents to about I'd say 15, I don't think I've ever paid more than uh, 20 cents. That's like chemical guys water, but I pay about 10 to 15 cents roughly. And it costs about $10, uh, depending where you're at, about $10 to fill up that whole tank for hundred gallons. T.O. Kiki said, how much to get my Mustang GT convert convertible wash and paint protection? Um, so to do a wash and wax for that, you'd be looking at about 150 standard price. Uh, message me, I'll actually, I'll, mess, I'll, I'll try to reach out to you. If you see this video, message me. We can get talking about setting that up, but that would roughly be your starting price. Onagi.8 said, how do you get rid of light scratches on black rims? Um, if they're gloss rims, I'd say you have to polish them out. So use a one inch polisher if you have the access to it, because I know rims can be tight uh, spots. So use a polisher with some light polish, a light pad, and try to uh, get that out and see if that works for you. And the last question is gonna be from Giova1533. And the question is, what cars do you consider harder to detail and why? I consider high-end cars like exotic cars, Lambos and all that to be a bit harder to detail. Um, a lot of people will say it's easier because they're probably more taken care of, but they have a lot of more intricate body parts. So if you've ever seen the inside of a, a Lamborghini truck, it is very crazy. There's a lot of 
buttons almost as like a spaceship so it's a lot harder to clean you definitely need to have some compressed air to blow out the cracks because if not if you don't have the right tools to get it done it's definitely not going to look how it should i would say exotic cars as well as larger vehicles um, especially cars you've never done before those have to be the absolute hardest because car there's new cars coming out every year so there's always new things in them whether it be new pockets new uh just anything so getting to learn what the car has whether it be hidden compartments or even just your first time doing it it's always going to be the larger vehicles and the first time ones but yeah all right everybody that's it for this video that was the q a the questions you guys asked me on my instagram i answered them for you i hope i answered all the questions correctly if at all i didn't or i missed any feel free to reach out to me on instagram i'll definitely try my best to reach out to you but thank you guys for watching. If at all you like the content you're seeing here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Amazon links in the bottom. They are affiliate links, but they don't cost you any more. So if you want to purchase any of the products I have in my van or that I use, make sure to click those down below. As well as follow us on Instagram, TikTok, any of our social media platforms at Top Class Detail. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.